Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add YouTube videos to your Google Plus timeline. So here you can see on my Google Plus page for my business you can see I've added already added some videos I've got how to make charts using OpenOffice. So these videos I've uploaded to YouTube and after I've uploaded them to YouTube viewers can view them from YouTube but they can also now view them directly on my Google Plus page. So I've added quite a few of them here already. Uh, you can see other ones about audio and here's one about Windows 8 Metro start tiles, these little tile things here and how to crop images using Photoshop. And as I add them to YouTube I like to add them to Google Plus as well and other social networks. So in order to show you how to do this on Google Plus, the first thing I need to do is actually go to a video which I've already uploaded to YouTube. Now it doesn't have to be your video, it can be someone else's video, but in this example I'm going to be adding a video I've created to my Google uh, Plus page. So I'm going to go over to YouTube in this tab and I've got this video here, I'm just going to play it as we, as we speak, and this particular video is an open office for calc spreadsheet beginners tutorial. So it's a very basic tutorial explaining some of the basic elements of open office for calc which is very similar to Microsoft Office Excel. So I'm going to pause this video and what I want to do is take this video and embed it into my timeline on my Google Plus page. So I'm going to click on this share right here and it's going to give me a few different options here. So you can go ahead and click on this Google Plus button here and it's going to load up this page and if you're already logged into your account it's going to offer you the option to embed it on your uh, YouTube page, on your Google Plus page but I don't think this is the smart way to do it. So this is one way to do it, you can click on this button here but if I were to post it, it's going to post it onto my personal profile rather than posting it into my business page. So I'm going to actually close this. And really what I want to do is copy this URL here. I'm going to copy this URL in the navigation in the address bar here. I'm going to go over to my Google Plus page and I'm going to click here. And then this is this, let me just cancel that. This is where I'm going to have the ability to add new content. So this is share what's new. And I'm going to click on the text here and it's going to pop this little window open you could say. And I'm going to click on video. And in video, it gives me a few different options. I can either paste the URL in here, I can enter a URL, I can, uh, you know, check some of my own YouTube videos, record a video, or even upload a video. But in here, I'm just going to go to YouTube, I'm going to paste this URL right here, and I'm going to search, and it's going to find that same YouTube video that we was looking at, and I'm going to click on the video, and I'm going to say, add this video. And it's going to pop open in this window, and really, before I share the video I can make sure that it's public because I want everyone to be able to see it not just specific people I want everyone to be able to see this and uh, before I click the share button I really like to write a description of what this video is it helps a little bit with uh, you know the search engines and stuff like this so I'm going to go back to the easy way to do that is go back to the original video and I'm going to click on the about section and in here I can copy this description I've already created so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this description here select it quickly Oops. Yeah. these two lines here I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here and it says DCP web designer tutorial open office for calc spreadsheet beginners tutorial so I'm going to change this around a little bit I'm going to cut this bit of information here I'm going to put that at the beginning and that should be okay I'm just going to move this down so you can see for more tutorials visit dcpweb.co.uk and also it's worth adding a few hashtags in here so if people are looking for certain things uh, when they do the searching this will help them to find them so I'm going to type in here open office and as I'm typing it you can see Google's trying to give me some solutions or some alternatives for this open office tag and I'm going to select this open office 4 and then we'll do calc sheet that can be another hashtag put a hash in front of it and then the final one I'll do is uh, video 
tutorial. Now I can actually go ahead, let's just double check this put full stop here. And this all seems to be okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and share this. And you can see it's, it's taken my information. It's giving me this little hashtag here with my alternatives. These are the three hashtags I put in. And they can click on this link and they can go to my website and see more tutorials. Or they can go ahead and click this play button. And now people can watch it directly on my YouTube Google Plus page without having to find it on YouTube itself. Watch this video straight here on this Google Plus page. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's a very basic tutorial showing you how to add videos to your Google Plus business page. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.